my cooking friends. It's Mel. I'm back in the ABC kitchen for our final week of cooking for the spring quarter. Can't believe it. We've done so many fun and delicious things. Um, so I thought I would end it with just a fun little treat that's really simple and easy to make that you can actually um, throw in a backpack to go on a hike or a walk. You can have it as a snack during the day. You can make them as a gift and share them with friends. Um, they're these little tiny dark chocolate energy bites. So only have a couple ingredients. You've got some dark chocolate, you've got some trail mix, you can use dried fruit, you can throw some nuts in there. So you can really customize them and make them whatever flavor you want. Um, you could put shredded coconut, you could do a million different things. Um, what I've got today is some gluten-free granola from Trader Joe's and I've got some mixed nuts that I'm going to throw in there and then I'm also going to use a combination. Um, I've got some dark chocolate chips but then I've also got some leftover chocolate bar that I'm just going to chop up into pieces as well and I'm going to show you how that works. Um, so then we've got to get our equipment ready. You need a microwavable bowl so you want one that's going to be kind of glass. You don't want to put metal in the microwave. Um, so get a glass bowl ready. Um, I've also got a bowl here that has all of my trail mix already in it. So that way it's easy to grab when we're ready to put our chocolates together. And that's really it. Um, hopefully you have a microwave because that's what we're going to use to warm up our chocolate. Or if you don't have a microwave, you can also set up what's called a double boiler, which is a pan that has hot water in it. You'll put it on the stove and get it simmering and steaming, and then you can put your bowl of chocolate right over the pan, and the heat from the steaming water will actually melt your chocolate. Um, so go ahead and get all of your items together. You can pause the video if you need to, get organized, and then we're gonna start cooking. All right, guys, so I've got my recipe pulled, on in my, pulled up in my Google Classroom app, so it's really easy to just kind of scroll through and follow the steps. Um, you can also print it out if you need to so you can stay on task. So if you look at your recipe, you'll see um, it does say that the recipe makes eight treats. Um, so what I'll probably do, since I'm gonna spend the time to heat everything up and prepare, actually double the recipe. So that way you can make about 16. Um, so depending on how many you wanna make, you're gonna have to adjust your measurements a little bit. Um, so it does call for three tablespoons of chocolate chips. So if you're gonna double it, that'll be three times two. So you'll use six tablespoons. Um, you can also, it's a quarter cup for a single recipe, but if you're gonna double it, just use a half a cup. So the first step you're gonna wanna do is take your microwavable bowl and your chocolate chips. You're gonna measure out about three well, in my case, I'm going to do about six tablespoons. So I'm going to do three of the chocolate chips, and then I'm going to take the chocolate bar that I have. Um, this can be kind of tough, but you're going to use your knife and just chop it into fine little pieces until it looks about like this. And then you can add that to your bowl. Okay guys, so now that we've got our chocolate all diced and ready in the bowl, we're going to need to put it into the microwave. Um, according to our recipe, it's about 20 seconds to 30 or 45 seconds depending on how it melts. You don't want to do it too much because that will burn your chocolate. So start with 20 seconds. If it's not really creamy and liquidy, once it's done with the 20 seconds, stir it up and then put it back in for another 10 and you'll do 10 second increments at a time until your chocolate is at a really creamy, runny texture. That was our timer. Let's see if it's melted. All right. Doesn't look melted yet, but it's starting to get nice and soft. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put it in for 10 more seconds. All right, guys, our chocolate is done. Be careful, your bowl will be warm. This is sort of the consistency we're looking for. We want it to be really liquidy and kind of runny. So that way when we go to spoon it onto our pan, it's really easy to pick up a spoonful and let it run right where we need it. So now it's time to assemble our treats. So this is what they're gonna look like when we're done. So what we're gonna do is spoon about a quarter size of chocolate onto our wax paper that's covering our baking sheet. And then we're going to take our trail mix that has nuts and all kinds of other yummy things and we're going to push it into the chocolate on top. So well, let's get to work. dried fruit or whatever you decided to add. Um, they're all on our wax paper sheet pan, so you're going to pop them in the fridge, I'd say for about 10 minutes to 30 minutes. You want to let them get nice and cool and harden, um, and then they're ready to go. That's it. So if you're going to eat them as a snack, you can just enjoy them right away. If you're going to give them as a gift, you can box them up or put them in a Ziploc bag and share them with friends or family. Uh, or you can put them in your backpack, take them on a hike, take them to work, whatever you need to do. Um, I hope you guys had fun making these today. Let me know the modifications that you guys make um, and any changes that you use so that way we can share those with all of our ABC friends. Um, this is the last video of the spring quarter, so I hope you guys had fun cooking this quarter and look forward to seeing you guys in summer 2020 that starts next week. Have a great weekend.